Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I have used the new Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette and I've been so excited to get my hands on this and create a tutorial and a look using this palette. I will tell you my review throughout the tutorial. I just wanna quickly mention, I'm so sorry about my voice. I literally lost my voice the other day through like a chest infection kind of thing. So yes, that's why I sound a little bit husky. Anyway, jumping into the tutorial, like always, I'm gonna prime my eyelids using my Shape Tape Concealer in Light Medium by Tarte and I'm just gonna blend it out using my sponge and then I'm just taking my 114 brush from Zoeva with some Kat Von D powder to kind of lock it in place and just set it all ready for the eyeshadow. I just want to quickly touch on the palette itself. So it's a hard cased palette, so you know eyeshadows are going to be safe. There's a mirror inside and it's quite a large mirror. It's also kind of keeping along her branding, so you've got her eyes on the front of the palette, which I really like. Um, and then also a sheet that lives inside the palette to keep the eyeshadows nice um, and clean. And then if just looking at the palette doesn't make you happy, then like, who are you? <laughs> it's such a pretty palette that you could literally make so many different varieties of makeup looks with it. So the first shade that I'm going to pick up and go in with is the shade Eden, which is a very beautiful orangey peachy shade. It's so pigmented. It's going to be probably, I can already tell, my favorite transition shade now, probably for the next two months, I'm guessing. I'm putting down a little bit. So I'm just going to work that into the outer corner and the crease using my Morphe 518 brush. So the next shade that I'm going to go in with is Blazing, which is a really fiery orange shade. I'm going to pop that straight on top of the colour before, but with like a little more smaller brush, which is my 228 from Zoeva. And again, just work it in the same areas on the outer corner, going into the inner corner of the eye. I'm really going to make sure I do hit that inner corner of the eye, so when we cut the crease, it's going to be really noticeable. Then I'm picking up Amber, which is a red brick colour. It's a darkish I want to say darkish bready brown and I'm just going to use my 227 and I'm only going to apply this on the outer corner mainly and then drag it into the crease ever so slightly. The reason that I was using my finger to pull out my skin is because recently I've noticed that I've got a little bit more wrinkles than normally. Um, so I just need a little help in hand to give it a little stretchy stretch. <laughs> I feel like if you like the Modern Renaissance palette, you're going to love this palette. And you guys know me, I try and fit as many eyeshadows from a palette onto my eye as possible because I feel like I'm getting really good use out of a palette, that's why I'm using so many colours. But I'm going to take Saffron, which is very similar to Amber, it's just a little bit more pinkier, and I'm just going to apply that on the outer corner just to pack a little bit more punch to it. Pronunciation is not my specialty, but I believe this is Oud. I'm guessing. Um, <laughs> I'm just thinking of the perfumes, you know. Um, so yeah, I'm going to take this dark brown shade in the palette and just apply this on my outer corner, only using my Fruline Little Fluffy brush to pat it on rather than blend it in. I always feel like patting on darker colours just gives you more impact of colour. And if you were to blend it out, you kind of just lose the colour anyway. So I've been doing this quite recently and I've just loved kind of the effect that it's given me. Um, and it's just much quicker. Right, on to cutting the crease. I'm going to be taking my Light Shape Tape Concealer from Tarte and my 33 brush from NYX and I'm just going to use my eyeball as a stencil to kind of rest my brush on and just kind of like swing it around. I just go for it and then if I mess it up, I mess it up. Um, but more than likely, if you just go for it, you tend to not mess it up. It's when you kind of um, kind of hesitate. That's when kind of things go down south. Um, so yeah, so I'm just going to blend that all over the eye and kind of stop where we hit the darker shades on the outer corner. And then just taking the Kat Von D powder again, I'm just gonna set that concealer in place just so it doesn't move and we don't smear it on the rest of the eyelid. And then dipping back into amber, I'm just gonna pat some of that shade on top of the concealer on the outer corner just to blend it in, make our lives a little bit easier. So the shade that I'm super excited about is, oh my God, how do you pronounce this? Nefertiti? Is that how? Nefertiti? Anyway, it's beautiful. It doesn't really need a name. Um, it's a beautiful gold like shimmer and there's They've got some like tiny bits of shimmer and then like specks of glitter, which I literally am obsessed with. So I'm just using my Sigma um, Cream Color E58 brush to swing that on. So I'm applying the gold shade on the first half of the cut crease and then for the second half of the cut crease in between the gold and the other MAC shades, I'm going to be taking Blood Moon on a pencil brush and I'm just going to connect that center bit. These shimmer shades are to die for, you know, in the first palette it was like more textured eyeshadows where this is just more shimmer. So I feel like a lot more people will be able to use these, work with these. It's just easier and it looks just as good. Um, so yeah, digging this palette. So for my eyeliner, I'm going to do my wing with my Sigma Wicked Gel Eyeliner and then I'm going to fill in um, the rest of it using my YSL Couture Eyeliner in the shade 1. 
it's a super super black liquid liner i don't normally use liquid liners but i don't know it just made such a difference my winged eyeliner looked really good this day if i do say so myself So now I've applied the rest of my face makeup and I'm onto my lower lash line. I'm going to be taking the shade Blazing uh, because I was just obsessed with it. I really love orange tones underneath my eyes. I feel like it makes the brown of my eyes really, really stand out. So I'm just going to pop that on my lower lash line with my 507 brush from Morphe. Then heading into amber again, which again is like a warm um, brown. So any warm colors I'm literally obsessed with. So I'm just going to, bleh, so I'm going to pop that on top of blazing just to give me that really nice warm kind of base. I really wanted a dark waterline so I'm going to be taking my Buxom Cool Me Crayon Eyeliner um, and I'm just going to pop that in my waterline and my top waterline, I never know what that's called but yes that too. Then I'm taking some mascara, this is my Maybelline Push Up Angels Falsies Mascara and I'm just going to pop that on my top and bottom lashes and next, which is the fun part, I am so glad this palette has a glitter, I was so excited to use this so what I'm going to do is lay down a little bit of Too Faced Glitter Glue with an eyeliner brush and then pick up some glitter which is the shade Cosmo and apply that just to the inner corner of my lower lash line, it just gives the eyeshadow look a little bit more of a pop and a wow factor which you guys know I'm all about the dramaticness and then for lashes I'm going to be taking my Huda Beauty lashes in fire which are my favorite style just to complete the makeup look and voila there we go that's the eyeshadow look completed I hope you did enjoy I will be doing so many more tutorials with this palette um but yes don't forget to subscribe push the thumbs up button and until next time I'll see you soon